Okay, class, Professor Anderson here. Let's ask you a question. How old are you in seconds? So, how old are you guys? 24. All right. I'm a little older than 24. My, I keep telling my kids that I'm 29 on every birthday, and uh, after a while they caught on that maybe that wasn't quite true. Okay, so 24, that's a great age. How old are you in seconds? Well, let's see if we can figure that out. 24 years, we want to convert that to seconds. So, we got to get rid of years. What do we know? How many days are in a year? Three hundred and sixty five, is that exact? No. What's after the five? Point two five, right? That little extra bit of a quarter is why we have to do what? Every four years. We have to have a leap year. It's interesting, back in the mid fifteen hundreds they hadn't accounted for the leap year, and so the calendar started to shift as opposed to the peak of summer. And they noticed this, and they said, oh, this is a problem. And so all of a sudden, they wiped out like 10 days of October of the calendar. <laughs> they just said, you know what? We're changing the dates. And I kept thinking, oh, those poor kids that had that birthday right in the gap. They just you know, got skipped over. All right, so it's 365. That's close enough. There's some digits after that. Every four years, we have to add an extra day. Every 100 years, we have to do something else. Every 400 years, we have to do something else. Okay, we got to tweak the calendar a little bit. But 365 days in a year. Okay, so now we got rid of years. What about days? How many hours are in a day? There are, of course, 24 hours in a day. So we get rid of days. How many minutes are in an hour? There are 60 minutes in an hour. And how many seconds in a minute? There are 60 seconds in a minute. So we get rid of hours, we get rid of minutes, and we end up with seconds. And now we just have a bunch of numbers to multiply. So let's multiply. We've got 24, we've got 365, we have another 24, we have 60, and we have 60, and there's all ones in the bottom. This is seconds. What is that number? Well, pull out your calculators and calculate that, and let's approximate it here. So we've got 2.4 times 10 to the 1. Then we've got 3.7 times 10 to the 2. And then we have another 2.4 times 10 to the 1. And we have a 6 times 10 to the 1. And we have a 6 times 10 to the 1. So this is approximately what? Well, if I bump this down, then I can bump the next one up. And if I bump that one down, then I can bump the next one up. And we'll leave the last one. And then we just have to count up the zeros. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now we can multiply this out pretty easily, right? We've got 2 times 4 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 10 is 160, times 6 is roughly a billion. And I suspect that the real answer is a little bit less than that. What did you guys get for your real answer? Okay, so it is 0.75 billion. So that's how old you are in seconds. You can see our approximation was off by about 25%. You know, we can probably do better than that next time. But you are 750 million seconds old. All right? Maybe you're wishing you had a few of those back just now, but that's how old you are, <laughs> 750 million seconds.